afternoon to everybody and welcome to the ISTA workshop on research methods in educational technology. Uh, I am Sahana Murthy, I will be one of the faculty instructors uh, of the course and the other instructor for this is Professor, Professor Sridhar Iyer and he will be there with us on uh, Saturday. Uh, what what we will do first is discuss the goals and the objectives of the workshop. What is this workshop about? What is not part of the workshop? What is the content in the workshop and so on? So, we will spend about 5 minutes talking about the objectives of the workshop and then I will walk you through the schedule of not just the 2 days, but what is happening in terms of the schedule of the workshop starting from when the pre-workshop assignment was uploaded until after the workshop also. So, as many of you would have seen from the brochure, uh, the main goal of the workshop is to get college faculty familiar in conducting research in educational technology. And the workshop is aimed at college faculty who would have anyway tried an innovative teaching method or perhaps used an educational technology tool in an innovative way and they are interested in conducting a research study about it. So, we are looking for teachers who have this idea of something new, something different that they have done in terms of teaching or learning within their subjects and now want to see, want to study it systematically and see if it works and see how they can present the results of what they have learned from their study in a scientific systematic manner. So, we are looking at teaching and learning as a scientific research problem throughout the workshop. And the long term goal of the workshop beyond, beyond February 2nd and 9th is to get participants to be prepared to submit a research paper of this nature to the IEEE conference on technology for education which is in uh, December 2013 to be held in Kharagpur. Before we look at the topics covered in the workshop, let us spend a few minutes on what is not part of the workshop and this is really important because uh, you, you may face questions from your participants or there may it, this is different from a normal workshop let us say on electronics or on mechanical engineering because this is not a workshop on a specific topic. Instead it is a workshop on a methods related, um, it is a methods related workshop. So, the participants will come here to learn about skills and methods of doing research in educational technology regardless of what domain they are from. So, Primarily the workshop will not address techniques for conducting research in the core science and engineering subjects. We will not teach them how whether if they want to conduct a research study on algorithms or if they want to uh, do something in uh, heat systems, they will not learn that from this workshop, this is not the right venue. Uh, secondly al along the same lines, we will also not be talking about any fancy gadgets where uh, which to conduct brain research on students, we are not going to be giving you, uh, we, we will not be telling you how to construct the tools in order to do this research. Instead what we are saying is you have an idea and what we will help you do is or what we will do is take you through some lectures and activities which will help you convert your own idea into uh, an educational technology research study. So, as from here I think it is quite obvious that the success of this workshop and how much participants will benefit will depend a lot on what they bring to it. So, the more active they are the more benefit it will be and if they are not active the workshop will not be useful and more on that a little later. The second point I would like to make is uh, since we are trying to solve problems or address issues related to teaching and learning, such a platform can easily become a gripe session or a crib session about the problems that I face while I am teaching or the fact that students are not motivated enough or the fact that students are not learning. So, we want to caution everybody that this is not a crib session, it is not a gripe session. Instead what we are doing is picking up one such problem and immediately coming up with an innovative solution to it. So, throughout the workshop our focus will be on the solution. Once you establish what the problem is and why it is important, we are going to talk about the solution your solution and how you plan to address this problem. So, as coordinators a very important role for you is to make sure that the discussions and the activities do not degenerate into a crib session. 
Please keep encouraging participants to think about how they will solve this problem and what is new about their solution uh, and how they can systematically study the effectiveness of their solution and so on. So a lot of the success of the workshop will hinge upon your role as a, in terms of how you encourage the participants to actively take part in the activities. So as we have been talking so uh, until now, the workshop is focused on research underlined, so it is not a teaching session and research on teaching and learning, so it is not research in the core engineering or science domains. Okay, so let us look at, briefly look at the topics that we will discuss during the workshop and we will talk about the different types of research problems and the different types of research papers that are studied in the domain of educational technology. What the participants have done so far is filled out the pre-workshop assignment which I would encourage all of you, well which all of you must go and read and see what it is about. In fact, it is very good if you also solve the pre-workshop assignment and there from the ideas coming out of the teachers themselves, we will see what are the different types of research problems and then we will look at publish research problems in journals and conferences and discuss what are the different types. We will then talk about what to look for when one reads and analyzes a research paper in educational technology. What are the different pieces that, that must be there in such a paper for it to get published, how to write these different pieces and how the, wh what are these different parts of the research paper, that is what we mean by analysis. Uh, of the different types of research problems. Then we will take your or the participants innovative teaching and learning idea and walk, the, walk through the steps of converting it into a research study because by the time we have done bullet point 2, we know what must be there in a research study. So now it is time to apply that learning into your own, uh, in, into your idea. And a large part of the second face to face day of the workshop will be spent on how do you plan and conduct your own study uh, that you have already thought about and that you have already conceptualized until now. So these are the four main, uh, four broad topics, there will be some going back and forth between these topics and uh, what we can do next is see how the schedule of the workshop is right from last week until after February 9th. Okay, so uh, I want to ask a question at this point and uh, just have all of you answer maybe to yourselves. Have you all seen the pre-workshop assignment? The only correct answer here is yes and if you have not seen it, then please go and see it. The second question is, have you done, have you solved the pre-workshop assignment? And I would ask all of you to please go and solve the pre-workshop assignment because then you know what the workshop is going to be about and what your participants will bring to the workshop. So if you have not solved the pre-workshop assignment, please for this, uh, for this assignment put yourselves into the role of participants and actually work it out. So you will know what we are requiring of the participants and what they will have to do, what they bring to the class when they come, uh, what they bring to the workshop when they come on the second and so on. Uh, so, so far the pre-workshop assignment has been uploaded and this is what we have done from IIT Bombay. As the RC coordinator, your role is to emphasize to participants that the pre-workshop assignment must be done. So, you, if you have their email addresses, it might be worthwhile sending out an email to your own RC participants that you need to complete the pre-workshop assignments, please do it and it is required to do it before attending the workshop, otherwise the workshop will be useless. What the participants are doing now is actually solving the pre-workshop assignment and as of now we have about 1000 entries uploaded out of uh, 6000 odd participants. So we still have 80 plus percent of the participants who have not done the pre-workshop assignment. So again here you have a large role to play encouraging them to finish the assignment. Okay, then we come to February 2nd which is the first face to face day of the workshop 
And if you see, we are not calling this as a two day workshop because it is really not a two day workshop. You can think of it as a two face to face days plus a few weeks solving assignments on Moodle. So, it is much more than a two day workshop. What I would request all participants is that they arrive by 9 and be ready, be seated by 9.20. So, any administrative tasks that you want them to do or uh, if, if there is any small things that need to be solved, please make sure that it is all done by 9.20. If you want them to come earlier, you, you can feel free to tell them to, but by 9.20 we want everybody to assemble and be ready because we are going to start the first session at 9.25. And the very first session is about setting expectations for the workshop. Again, we will discuss a lot about what we expect the participants to do, what the workshop is about, what we expect the participants not to do and uh, essentially what, how to set their expectations and our expectations so that everybody benefits from the two face to face days. Again, here we would like the participants to be in their seats by 9.20. So, make sure that every all the administrative issues are dealt with by then. Then in the morning session of February 2nd, we will have interspersed lectures and activities, a series of them and there will be a tea break in between from, 10, uh, from 11 to 11.30. And these lectures will be on the topics that we have seen in the previous slide. No, we will be on some of these topics, discussion of different types of research problems, reading and analyzing papers and so on. Your role again here is important because you will be facilitating the activities and what I mean by activities, I will give you some examples of activities. In some activities, we would like participants to write something in their notebooks individually. In other activities, we would like them to talk to each other in pairs. So, we would ask them to pair up with a neighbor and have a mini discussion. In some other activities, what the pairs will do is report back to you, the center coordinator on uh, what their pair discussed and then your role would be to relate all of it to us through the chat forum. So, we will have activities throughout the day on February 2nd and February 9th and ap apart from facilitation, there is not much we require of you because we will tell you exactly what to do. For example, we may say the, uh, the coordinator could you please uh, take a vote of the participants and tell us the majority vote through chat or we may say that participants now have to discuss with each other. So, could the coordinators please make sure that everybody has a pair. But the other important role you have to play is to encourage this active participation because as we mentioned earlier without the participation that is where most of the learning is happening. There are not going to be many lectures and a lot of activity instead the time is going to be filled by a lot of such activities. They are very structured. So, we have prepared these structured activities and we can we lead the participants through the activities step by step. So, you need not get uh, you need not get apprehensive as to what is this activity because we lead them through the slides but we want to make sure that everybody is participating. And as we all know, most people are serious, most people want to participate, but there will always be some participants who are either inactive, they may be sitting in a passive manner or worse, they may be trying to disrupt. We all have seen people like that. So, as a coordinator, one of your roles is you, you can be strict with them, you can enforce discipline in your class in your center. Feel free to use any method you would like. If you feel that somebody is not participating and does not want to, you can tell them that it is mandatory to participate in this, in the activity to be part of the workshop. So, if you do not want to participate, it is okay to leave. Do not, we, we would not mind if anybody leaves, but what we want is everybody should be actually on task, focusing on the activity and doing the activity. So, it is really your role to enforce the discipline and make sure that the serious people get a fair chance of uh, being part of the activity. In the afternoon, the schedule is very similar to the morning. Uh, I think I forgot to mention lunch here. 
it is there on the next slide. So, 1 to 2 pm is lunch and we will assemble back strictly at 2 pm because we have a full day of activities after that. So, the afternoon sessions will be more lectures on act and activities on similar topics because we have a lot of topics. So, we will do some in the morning and some in the afternoon. Tea break in the afternoon is from 3.30 to 4 pm. And then from 5 to 6 pm we will open the floor to all the centers and we can take questions and at that point your role is to facilitate the question answer you if you would like there will be a mic to be passed around you may have to summarize some queries and so on. Participants can ask questions related to the workshop during that time. Okay, so this is this coming Saturday February 2nd. Then in the week between the two face to face days. So, between February 3rd and February 8th there will be another assignment similar to the pre workshop assignment. We are calling it as the idea proposal assignment. This is something we will upload as soon as day 1 is over and in this week participants have to complete the assignment. So, all the details all the instructor instructions will be in the assignment and we will also talk about what this assignment is during Feb 2nd afternoon. So, we will introduce this assignment on February 2nd, participants will do the assignment and similar to the pre workshop assignment your role is to emphasize to participants that they must be done because if they do not do it then February 9th is not going to be very useful for them. So, on February 9th again we will follow very similar schedule to February 2nd lectures and activities in the morning very just the topics will be slightly different, but it is a similar format. Your role is to facilitate the activity and encourage participation. Participants will be learning from lectures and doing the activities. Lunch from 1 to 2 pm and similar lectures and activities in the afternoon. I think we can stop a little early on day 2 afternoon. We will try to stop by about 4.30 so that we have more than an hour for questions if necessary. What will happen after February 9th is the following. There will be a final assignment which is posted and all participants if they want the certificate for the workshop they have to finish the final assignment. So, that will be from February 10th and we will give them about 2 weeks or so 1 to 2 weeks we will discuss that and let you know. We will uh, upload the final assignment on Feb 9th and they have a week to do that. Once they submit the final assignment then they are eligible to get the certificate. But the workshop does not stop there even though officially it might stop because we will we have a team a large team of TAs who will go through the assignments and they will select the top 200 of the assignments the ones who have really done well and they will provide them mentoring through Moodle to take their draft which is if, if you recall the title of the uh, workshop and if you recall the last bullet point here in terms of the goals. We want to prepare participants to submit a paper to the international conference on technology for education. So, the final assignment will be similar to uploading a draft. Then the top 200 of those will be mentored by our TAs to be able to submit a paper to this conference and the deadline is sometime in May. So, from middle of February until May there will be some rounds of mentoring going on even though it is officially not part of the workshop. Official workshop stops after the participants have uploaded the final assignment which is be, which is between February 10th and the week after that. So, I think let me stop here and uh, we can take a few questions right from uh, if you have any if you need any clarifications about the schedule of the workshop and so on. What I request you is to limit your questions right now related to the goals of the workshop, the format and the uh, technical part of the workshop. So, I would not be I am I am the faculty member in the educational technology department in IIT and unfortunately, I personally would not be able to help you related to administrative related questions or questions on Moodle and so on. Uh, if you have questions on that we will tell you what to do, but not right now, right now please limit your questions to uh, uh, to those related to the workshop topics, objectives, format and so on. Okay, so, our first question is from okay, please start raising hands if you have questions related to the workshop objectives, 
format and technical details. So, we have uh, 1166 Bhilai Institute of Technology, Durg. Over to you. Good evening, madam. This is RCC from 1166. I had a query. Please go ahead. And it was uh, uh, for doing activities on 9th of February. Yes. Uh, should we have a, should we have computer machines the, uh, along with the participants uh, parallelly as they are hearing the lectures? Okay, uh, let me repeat the question because this is an important question. Uh, on February second and ninth, do our uh, computers required for the activities? Uh, let me see. For some of the activities, what we require is paper and pencil. So, what I would request all the coordinators is to keep some paper, because even though the participants might bring notebooks, some of them may not. So, it will be good if you have some extra paper, but for some of the other activities, yes, we would need the computers. Yeah, so, yes, some activities do require computers. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Center 1253, SSM College of Engineering, Tamil Nadu. The same question I want to ask, uh, is it the tablet that we have to issue or the PCs is enough? PCs are sufficient because all the activities will be uploaded on Moodle. So, it does not matter whether it is a tablet or a PC, we just need to be able to… Hmm. Yeah, so, we do not need the Akash tablet for this workshop. PC is sufficient. PC is sufficient, yes. Okay, thank you for your question. Center 1088 KK Wag Institute Nashik, over to you. Uh, good afternoon, madam. Uh, what type of assignments will be there? The same question, whatever the other two centers have asked. But what are the prerequisites of the assignments? Whether which type of materials, any papers, or all that is required? Please uh, uh, give me the details of that one, madam. Please. Uh, Center 1088. Okay, thank you. So the question is, uh, what type of assignments? And the assignments will. Be, some of the assignments are very small. I am assuming that you mean the assignments that are happening during the February 2nd and February 9th face to face days. These are the activities that are happening in between. What we will do is we will do a small lecture and the activity will be based on the lecture. So, we might ask a question where the participant has to take their own idea and analyze it and, and uh, they have to tell us or tell you the answer to that question and you will relay that answer through chat. That can be one form of an activity. Another activity on February 2nd is they have to download the papers, download two papers that we have posted on Moodle and they have to critically evaluate the features of the two papers. So, this is going to be one activity. So, in terms of what knowledge is required to do these activities, we will do that during the session itself. So, what they need to do is complete the pre-workshop assignment before coming to the workshop. But they will also need access to the PC because some of the assignments, for some of the assignments they will have to download the uh, papers from, the, download just to read it. So, they can read it on the PC. Two people can be assigned to a PC, that is not a problem. Thank you. Center 1249, Sri Ramakrishna Institute of Technology, Coimbatore. Over to you. Good afternoon, ma'am. Uh, I have a question that you said that the pre workshop assignment, uh, the remote center coordinator also can uh, participate. Uh, thanks for but the question. There is no link for a remote center coordinator to do that assignment. That is first question. Second question is, uh, if you uh, if you say that some papers will be available on the model, 
for assignment or uh, some doing some activities whether we can take print out of those uh, uh, papers and give it to the participants instead of having pc and third question is uh, uh, the certificate distribution is getting delayed for the previous workshops so whether the certificate dis will be distributed in time over to you ma'am okay thank you there were three questions i'll take the second question first because that's uh, the most straightforward to answer uh, the question is for the activities suppose some activity is uploaded on moodle is it okay to take a print out of the activity and give it to the participants instead of doing it only on the pc and yes that is okay if it's more convenient to you to take print outs and have the participants do it on paper that's also perfectly okay with us because what we would mostly need the pc for is to access the assignments and the activities and the papers so if you feel that it's better for them to uh, do it on paper and if you have facilities for printing you can do it but the activities will be available only early on the morning on february 2nd we won't be able to have it up much before that your uh, first question was can the coordinators also do the activities and the answer from our side is yes we would like in fact we very much encourage the rc coordinators and the workshop coordinators to do the assignment if the uh, and your problem was that the uh, the link for the workshop assignment was not available on moodle for the coordinators so i'll ask my colleagues who are handling moodle to enable this that can you enable the seeing the workshop assignments can you enable that view even for the coordinators they can see the assignments they should be able to see it yeah. okay so uh, my colleague who's handling who's taking care of the workshop uh, logistics says that even the coordinator should be able to see the assignment from our side we have enabled it and if there is a problem please send an email to uh, e outreach uh, at it.iitb thank you center 1215 bajaj group of institutions akbarpur up over to you when when we will get certificate for this workshop after 2013 ieee workshop or before post workshop assignment is submission of ieee paper in december 2013 no 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 let me answer that question so the question is what exactly is the post workshop assignment the post workshop assignment is going to be similar to the pre workshop assignment by similar i don't mean the same questions but it will be an assignment with some questions posted on moodle and people will have about a week or 10 days to complete the assignment and submit it on moodle once they do this officially the workshop is over but people who do very well in this final assignment we will choose the top 200 and mentor them to submit a paper in this uh, for the december conference if they'd like the deadline for the december conference is end of june so that is not officially part of the workshop but the objective of the workshop is to get participants to submit a paper there so officially the final assignment of the workshop will be a moodle based assignment similar to the pre workshop assignment available from february 10th for about a week i hope that clarifies your question ma'am we have not get certificate for our previous workshop also when we will get certificate for this workshop which workshop exactly. is this may may or june which workshop is this thermodynamics akash workshop okay. okay so these certificates are under process what i would suggest is uh, as soon as Uh, our team has processed all of them they'll send you out an email it will take some more time but these are under process we know that we, we will be sending the certificates back uh, to you we we know that we have to get them to you and they are under process thank you center 1269 institute of information technology banipur west bengal over to you good evening madam uh, my question is related to the uh, team assignments if if there now uh, we what we need to know is there any guideline for formation of the team because uh, when you assess the team uh, individual members how you uh, 
form uh, based on our previous uh, workshop we have seen that the team formation is very crucial okay let me just interrupt for a moment right here at this stage we don't envision any team assignments for this particular workshop we may have participants informally collaborate with each other but we won't have any formal team assignments so the pro the issue of forming uh, teams and coordinating teams is not going to be a problem for this workshop center 1256 sri datta institute of engineering and science hyderabad over to you hello madam uh, good evening uh, madam my question is uh, uh, please you can you elaborate that hands on activities you mentioned on february 2nd in participant column that is on hands on uh, uh, activities what exactly uh, uh, the role of the coordinator are participating in that activities okay thank you the question is what's the role of the coordinator in the hands on activities uh, what you would mainly have to do is to ensure that the participants follow the instructions that we will give on the slides from our end so all the what the participants have to do what the coordinator has to do at that point of time will be available on the slide at that time so for example we may tell the participant to read the question and write the answer on a piece of paper and then we may ask the coordinator to take a vote in the room as to how many people answered yes and how many answered no this can be one example this is just one possible example so these instructions will be available on the slide which is going to be there for that activity your main role is to ensure that the participants are actually doing the activity seriously and they are not sitting passively and each activity will have will be slightly different but exactly what to be, what is to be done all the instructor instructions step by step instructions will be there in the slides at that uh, one more madam uh, can you uh, uh, this schedule what is the schedule is there no uh, can you get the schedule through mail so the schedule that i showed you today the schedule that i showed you on the slides today we will post that on moodle by today evening Okay, thank you. Centre one zero five four National College of Engineering, Tirunelveli. Over to you. Good evening, madam. Uh, good evening, madam. Uh, this is the first time that RC is uh, given chance to take charge of the workshop. Moodle login information for uh, remote center coordinators because workshop coordinators are having Moodle uh, username password, but RCCs we are not having. So because you are posting assignments and all those things in the Moodle, so we need that uh, Moodle username and password. And question number two is, Madam, some of the faculties from uh, MBA department are interested in participate, uh, participating the uh, workshop, but you had clearly mentioned in the brochure that. Uh, MBA faculties and humanities are not uh, allowed to participate. <laughs> okay, Can you tell so me thank why? Thank you for your questions. Thank you and over to you. Okay, so regarding your first question about Moodle access, all the coordinators have been given Moodle logins and passwords from our side. So, in principle, you should have received it. So, I would suggest that you please go check again if you have received it or not. And if you haven't received it, please drop us an email and the team that's handling Moodle will get back to you. But from our side, we have issued Moodle login and passwords to all the coordinators. And this, I would like to emphasize this to all the centers because this question is coming up again and again. So th for all the centers and all the coordinators, Moodle logins and passwords have been given to everybody. If you haven't been able to access Moodle in spite of it, please first check your email to see if the login and password is already there. If you can't find it, drop us an email and our team will get back to you. Thank you. The second question you had was about the scope of the workshop and the domains represented. So uh, firstly, welcome to you as the first time cen uh, center for a workshop of this nature and we really appreciate your efforts in doing so. Uh, conducting a workshop at this scale and this of this nature is also a first time from IIT Bombay side. So for the first workshop, we are limiting the scope to science and engineering faculty. We will see how this workshop goes and we, 
if we run a workshop like this again, we might open up and broaden the scope to other uh, uh, faculty of other domains. But this particular workshop is limited to faculty of engineering and science disciplines only. Thank you. Center 1195, Bansal College of Engineering, Mandideep Bhopal. Hello, good evening madam. My question is, when will you upload the course material on the Moodle? And the second question is, what type of activities we have to perform during the workshop? And is there any formation, uh, guidelines for formation of teams? And the third question is, during activity session, can we interact with you for any clarification? Okay, thank you, sir. Okay, there were uh, three questions. The first question about was about course materials. So I'm not sure what exactly you mean by course materials, but the slides will be uploaded on the morning of the workshop and then they will stay on Moodle. The slides and activities will be uh, uploaded the morning of the day of the workshop. After that, they will stay on Moodle if anybody wants to access them after that. The second question about the types of activities. I have answered this question several times, so I request all other centers who have this question not to repeat the same question again. And the answer is that these activities will, the structure of the activities or the types of activities will be related to the lecture that we do right at that time. The instructions for the activities will be in the slides. So what the participants have to do is follow the instructions. If the instruction says, turn to your neighbor and discuss your idea, then the participant has to turn to their neighbor and discuss the idea. What the coordinator has to do during the activity is to make sure that the participant follows the instructions. Uh, there was a third question related, uh, let me just try to recall what the third question was. Um, you will have to repeat the third during question for me. During activity session, during the activity session, can we interact with you for any clarification? Yes, during the activity se uh, session, how to interact with us? I would say please use the chat window at that time. We will not be able to interact using audio video, but please use the chat. Uh, you can type your question, type your clarification and so on. So that would be a, an effective way of interacting with us during the activity session. Thank you. Center 1273, yeah, over to you. Good evening, madam. Good evening, madam. Uh, some of the participants, they won't get uh, the Moodle ID and password. Uh, they already requested through mail to you that we haven't get the Moodle ID password, but still there is no response from your side. They are saying, may I attend the workshop or not? May I confirm or not? They are saying that question. They are asking. Okay, one possible reason why they are not getting Moodle login is that they have not given us the right, their correct email ID. So what I would ask you to check with them very carefully is if they have sent us the, their correct email ID. If they have sent us their correct email ID, then we, they should be getting a Moodle login and password. So what, please ask them to send us an email with their correct email ID so that we can add them on Moodle. In the meantime, Yes, they can attend the workshop, but they must as soon as possible uh, sort out the Moodle issue because without doing a pre-workshop assignment and other assignments on Moodle, the workshop is not really going to be useful. I would say it will be useless for them to attend the workshop if they do not have Moodle access. So let them send us their correct email ID and as soon as they send us the correct email ID, then they will receive the Moodle login and password. Thank you. Can they send uh, the mail to you on, uh, madam, can they send the mail to you on tomorrow or day after tomorrow also? Please send the email to eoutreach at it.iitb as soon as possible. If they send it to us today, we will be able to work on it. If you wait till Saturday, it will be very difficult to get Moodle access in time. So please send us their correct email ID today itself and as soon as possible. Thank you. Center 1150, over to you. Good evening, madam. Uh, madam, this topic is really very good. Um, but then because of the limitation of seats, we could register only 67 participants. 
Now, if the assignments, those participants which they have received, if they share with the other members, and if the other members, those who are not registered, if you allow them to attend this workshop, is it possible? Yeah. So, we don't mind if they share the assignment. Yeah, we really don't mind if they share the assignment. We are okay if they attend, but they won't be able to be given certificates if they are not registered. That is going to be the problem. So, sharing the knowledge, sharing the assignments is not a problem from our side. So, if they are okay not ha getting certificates and if you have room for and if your center can accommodate more number of people, that is okay, provided you you can ensure that you know they are actually the serious participants because ultimately what we want are the participants who really want to learn and do the activities and so on. So, as coordinator you have the discretion of making this choice. So, you can tell them that they unfortunately without registration they would not get certification, but if they want to attend and seriously participate then it is fine. So, long as you, you are okay with the decision. 1247 School of Management Sciences. Kasimpur, Guruva, Uttar Pradesh. Good evening, ma'am. Uh, this side, uh, Dr. B. R. Singh, Remote Center cut, uh, Controller uh, from uh, SMS Lucknow. Uh, I have three questions. One is whether participants are required to use Akash tablet to submit their uh, assignment. Second whether the assignment will be objective or some text type of material are going to be asked, whether lecture material uh, will be available to all the participants after workshop. Okay, the, the first question, no Akash is not required. In fact, we are doing nothing with Akash during the workshop. Akash is not required, but access to Moodle is required. The next question about uh, assignments, the assignments are available on Moodle, they are what they are on Moodle. So, if you have seen the pre-workshop assignment, you will see that it is a mixed of, mix of objective and text type. So, whatever the assignment is, you will be able to see it on Moodle, it will be a mix of the two. And the all the materials, whatever we do, the assignments and the lecture slides and all will be uploaded on Moodle after the days of the workshop. Thank you for your question. Center 1107, Purnima Group of Institutions, Jaipur, over to you. Uh, madam, we have one query. Uh, uh, can we have the uh, lectures in seminar hall? Uh, see, uh, yeah, okay. So, can you have the lectures in the seminar hall? The lectures and the activities are going to be interlinked and interspersed. So, the participants will either need access to Moodle during the activities, during some of the activities or you need to have a hard copy, a printout of the assignments for them to work on it. So, one of these two options must be available for the participants and the exact logistics of it you can decide whether you can do it on the, whether you do it in the seminar hall or somewhere else. But for some of the activities, the participants will need to access a PC. No, if suppose some slot is fixed for the laboratory uh, PC needs. No, there is no separate slot. There, there is no separate slot because these activities, some of them are very small and some are about an hour long activity. But so there is no separate lab and lecture here. Uh, if you are having trouble getting PC okay, access, okay. what you can do is get a printout of the assignment and keep it in the lecture hall and participants can work on the assignment uh, on the activity through a printout. That is also a possibility. Or we can uh, ask the participant to bring their own laptops. You can do that if they have, if you are able to have them connect access Moodle on their laptops. So, if you can give them Wi-Fi access and have them access Moodle, that is also an option. In fact, we do not need one okay, PC okay. for I every participant. I have one more query, madam. We do not need, let me just finish please. We do not need, we do not need one PC for every participant. If there is one PC or one laptop for every two participants, that is also sufficient. Please go ahead. Uh, uh, one more query, uh, regarding uh, I am remote center coordinator. 
actually the remote co uh, center coordinator should have the access to all the workshops being conducted. But the problem is because the, uh, the RC coordinator is not the participant, many of the things are not accessible to the RC coordinator. This request I have uh, mailed also. So for this workshop, all RC coordinators also have access to the materials for this particular workshop. We have made sure of that. Now what I mean to say, all the workshops which are being conducted in the um, uh, RC center, okay, uh, so actually those uh, activities please because... Send us, please send us an email about this and we will get back to you about the earlier workshops. For this workshop, all RC coordinators also have access to the materials. Thank you for your question. Okay, thank you, Madam. One one two eight VNIT Nagpur, over to you. Uh, hello, Madam. Professor Kulkarni, Remote Center Coordinator, VNIT Nagpur. Uh, I wish to ask: uh, Will there be a spot registration? No, I'm sorry, we are not allowing spot registrations. Thanks. Okay, uh, we have a facility of seminar hall where PCs are not there mm -hmm. and we have separate computer center in the next building. Okay. So, I can make arrangement of the printouts only here. That should be fine, that should be okay. And yeah, that should be fine, thanks. Center 1056, Malareddy College of Engineering and Technology, Secunderabad. Over to you. Madam, I am Mulu Krishna, Remote Center Coordinator. Uh, I have one question like actually uh, one of uh, my participants, uh, he clicked on the verify like uh, immediately after registering, we get a mail, uh, automatic mail uh, to verify our email ID. So when uh, my participant clicked on that mail ID, he got the message that your mail ID is not verified successfully. Usually we used to get the your uh, email ID is verified successfully. Like can I know wha what might be the reason like uh, for that? Uh, let me suggest one thing right now. If you have questions related to access to Moodle, I am really not the right person to be answering this. So, all questions related to access to Moodle, the best way to do it is if you drop us an email or contact Dinesh Remji. They will be able to sort out your Moodle related queries immediately because if you ask me the Moodle related queries, I have to look around, see who can answer it and all. So this is again a request to all the coordinators. If you have Moodle related queries, please drop us an email or contact Dinesh Remje and he, he would be able to sort out your Moodle related queries. His phone number is, uh, his phone number will also come on chat. Let me just tell you anyway, Dinesh Remje 022-2576-4987. Repeat, Dinesh Remje. 022-2576-4987. So request all coordinators and all people who raise their hands, if you have Moodle related queries, please call this number or drop us an email. I will just have to pass the Moodle question from now on because I won't be able to answer it for you. Please restrict your questions for the next 10 minutes or so to uh, questions related to the workshop format, workshop objectives and so on. If you want to know what is your role or beyond what you we have discussed. If you have uh, clarifications regarding the workshop topics, please ask it now. All other questions, please contact us via email. Yeah, one, one second, madam. Hello. Go ahead, please. Madam, actually, during uh, during this session on February 2nd and February 9th, uh, actually, we arranged this session in a seminar hall where the computers are not available. So we have a lab just beside this room. Okay. So will that be okay? Uh, okay, I think that should be okay. So let me answer this, take this question also and because it is coming up frequently. If there is an activity which requires some computer usage and if it is a longish activity, 
there are several options you have. You can either move your participants to a computer lab if it's right next door or if it's close by because the activity may not be very long. It may be a half an hour activity related to lab. You can ask the participants to bring their own laptop and have it have them connect to Moodle over Wi-Fi if you have that option. You can have printouts. So there are several options available to you uh, for or you can do the entire session in the lab if you have access to that. So the, these are several options. Yeah, you can move them to the computer lab next door if that's an option uh, if the activity is long enough. Computer activity will computer access is required for some of the activities, not all of them, and these are about one hour long activities. For the short activities, you won't need computer access, so you can do it right here in the seminar hall. Okay, madam. Uh, one one more thing, madam. Actually, you said some IEEE conference. Mm -hmm. Sir, uh, actually, do we have? Is it, I think uh, as I understood, it is not mandatory that we need to publish one paper in that IEEE conference. Am I right? Yes. So the question is, the question is, what is the relation of the workshop to the IEEE conference? Is it mandatory or is it only a guidance? And the answer is, the workshop is not directly related to the IEEE conference. It's not mandatory for you to submit anything for the IEEE conference. However, we want to prepare the participants to be able to submit a paper to the IEEE conference. So if you do the assignments in the workshop and if you make use of our future mentoring, then there is a chance that you will be able to submit a paper to the IEEE conference. You can think of this workshop as a hand-holding session if you would like to submit a paper to the conference, but it's not mandatory, it's not a mandatory part of the workshop. What is mandatory is submission of the assignments on Moodle. I hope that's clear. Center 1183, Vignans Institute of Information Technology, Visakhapatnam. Uh, good evening, madam. Uh, yes, madam. Once the activities are given in the Moodle, uh, once we take the hard copy for the activities and done the process, uh, whether we have to need to upload uh, the done activities to the same Moodle? Okay, the question is about the activities and uh, is it necessary to upload the activities back on Moodle? The answer is no, there is no need to upload the activities. That's why I said that even a printout is okay. Moodle is required mainly to access the activities and to download and see what the activities are. You may need to read a small paper posted on Moodle. You may need to access the question and so on. There is no need to upload the activities, uh, upload the answer to the activities during the workshop. However, the work, the assignments that are posted as a pre-workshop assignment or uh, the one between February 3rd and 8th, individual participants will access them on Moodle and upload them on Moodle. Thank you. Uh, Madam, the workshop is done on two days, one is 2nd and one is ninth. So is uh, the activities are same on the two days or these activities will differ on the two day workshop? Different activities. Is the concept is same running on the two days? No, the, it's, it's, so the entire workshop begins with the pre-workshop assignment. Day one, we will discuss some topics and do some activities. The next part of the workshop is from February 3rd to 8th where individuals individually submit the next assignment. The next stage of the workshop is on February 9th, new topics, new activities. The final stage of the workshop is after February 10th for about a week. So the workshop is not a two day workshop, it's an entire you can consider it as a three week long workshop, two days of face to face and each stage is important. So if you miss any one stage or don't do any one assignment, the rest of the stages won't be useful. There is no repetition at all in the workshop. Thank you. Center 1272, Beswan Uttar Pradesh, over to you. Good afternoon, ma'am. Unfortunately, we missed the mo uh, in the first half of your, or rather, most of your presentation because of the audio problem. So, you know, uh, I just wanted to certain, you know, high-level clarification. First thing, what I understand from the Q&A session is that, you know, uh, center coordinator has to essentially facilitate the process on second and ninth, and that it has to be done as the things evolve. That's absolutely okay. correct. 
second thing which i understand is yeah yeah second thing which i understand is that you know we should have uh, you know pcs or laptops alternatively we should have paper assignments that would assignments be required available that's on the correct. paper for the activity that's correct yeah now uh, would these you know activities be uploaded on the moodle so that you know we can download them tomorrow and uh, be ready with the hard copies day after tomorrow yeah we'll try to upload them by mid afternoon or so tomorrow we'll do it as soon as possible but uh, we'll try to have them as soon as possible on moodle if you would like to download it yeah, yeah basically they should be done by tomorrow uh, end of the day so that we can take the print out and be available with the start of the uh, okay. workshop on uh, second 9 a okay thank you for your comment that's right and uh, this is going to be made available today's presentation will be available on the moodle by that's correct and the today's presentation program. will be uploaded on moodle okay yes. thank you sure thank you very much center 1227 over to you hello good evening ma'am i am having two questions as we are conducting the workshop first time so please uh, taught us that whether we should allocate computer system and headphone to the participants and the second question is that for the activity that we are uh, taking in the afternoon session what kind of preparation we have to do and if the participants are having a questions related to that so shall we allow them to uh, write down the questions or to mail or to chat Okay let me take the second question first about what to do if you have clarifications during the activities i have answered this question once before so again let me repeat that if there are any clarifications needed during the activities the participants can ask the coordinator and the coordinator can relay the clarification to us via the chat that would be the most effective way of communication during the activity there is no special preparation that you need to do during the for the activity because whatever is required will be there on the slide at that particular moment um your first question was uh, about the computer use so for some of the activities a computer will be needed mainly to download the material so if you have a lab next door that will work or if you can have print outs that will also work so we have to allocate per participant computer system one per every Two is fine. Center one two four one NRI Institute of Information Science and Technology, Bhopal. Over to you. Hello, ma'am. Uh, good evening. Uh, my I have two question. My first question is that that when you will upload the schedule on Moodle, because participants are not aware with this uh, schedule of that program. We will and, upload uh, it today. And my second question itself. is. Uh, today itself and my second question is when you will upload activities on moodle so that we can take print out and we can distribute whenever a session okay, is going we'll on try to do it by tomorrow afternoon thanks center 1223 rbs engineering bichpuri uttar pradesh Good evening, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, I already got the answer of one question, but the second one is uh, we have to whether uh, it is possible to prepare the common NOC for all the participants and uh, upload that or send that uh, at the later stage or not. So please send the hard copy to IIT. Please send the hard copy to IIT Bombay and thanks for. Uh, not repeating a question that was for your first comment for the second question yes please send a hard copy to iit bombay so a single noc is sufficient please send the hard copy to us with all the participants names on it center 1254 over to you hello can you hear me ma'am ah good evening ma'am ma'am my question is related to the permission letter actually some participant 
do not upload their permission letter at the uh, okay, site. They have submitted to me. Okay, I'm going to have to request you to hold off questions about the permission letter till we end the session because again that's an administrative issue and my colleagues will be able to help you. They'll at least give you an email address or so. But uh, I won't. I'll be able to help you only with technical matters related to the workshop. So you'll have to wait for another 10 minutes. We will uh, take questions for another 10 minutes till 5:15, and then if you still have further questions, you can ask them over Moodle, and we'll get back to you on it. Questions related to administration or Moodle use. Uh, please wait till after 5.15. Center 1218, Bansal Institute of Engineering and Technology. Is there any need of some other system? The question is, is there any need of a computer system? I have answered this question, I think, at least about eight times by now. Yes, for some of the activities, computer system is required. Center 1175, Truba College of en Science and Technology, Bhopal, over to you. Hello. Good evening, madam. Madam, I, I have a single query. Is the online registration is uh, over? So, some participants uh, still wants to join this workshop. So, is there any provision for offline registration? Sorry, we don't have any more open reservations for this workshop. We don't have any more open reservations. Reservations did uh, the registrations did end earlier, so we don't have on-spot registration or any more open registration. Thank Thanks. You. One zero four three, Sarvajanik College of Engineering. Over to you. Good afternoon, ma'am. I have three questions. Can you hear me? Yes, please ask your questions one by one. Okay, the, I didn't get the list of participants who are confirmed for this uh, workshop at my center. Uh, Second please question admin, is, please who call our admin submitted? team for the list of participants. Please call our admin team. Okay, second thing, you said that forcefully you uh, say about a pre-workshop assignment uploaded by participants. But how can we see which participants has already uploaded? So the name of the participant is the na name of the participant is there. But as a coordinator, what you can do is send out an email or tell all the participants that they need to do it. The name of the participant does come up as to who has uh, submitted it and who uh, next to the name next to the submission itself. That does show up on Moodle. If you need okay, to and to one more, madam, question. That will be a two dates on the uh, assignment. 31st January is the last date for submission and 1st uh, February also. Uh, it is 1st February. Uh, the last date for submission is 1st February. So let me just check where you saw 31st no, but January. We, two dates are uh, mentioned over it. That's why that is a confusion with the participants. It is 1st February. So they have until tomorrow. Okay, okay ma'am. Okay. Center 1283, over to you. Yes, ma'am, uh, well, the same question almost, but just, just I want to ask that if the participant misses, suppose some of the participants already have submitted, their uploaded their pre-workshop assignment, but some are left yet. If they are unable to do it in time, then what will happen? Won't they be registered? Okay, see, the thing is if, I'm not sure why they are unable to upload the assignment because the assignment has been available and it's access, it should be accessible by all. What we are saying is if they don't upload it, it's, no, it's not of any use for them to come to the workshop. So as a coordinator, you can very strongly tell them that it will be useless for you to attend the workshop if you don't do the assignment. So you better do the assignment, you still have one more day to finish it. The topics in the workshop and the further activities will not make much sense without the pre-workshop and the other assignments. That was the message. Yeah, actually, they are saying they are not getting enough time to uh, actually finish it. Uh, they will have to, yeah, so they will have to, they will have to do their best and you will have to encourage them to do their best. See, otherwise, they can, there is really no, not much point coming to the workshop. They can save their time and not come on Saturday also, you know, if they really want to save time. 
no if mm. if it if it happens so after mm. the after second february uh, after second february if they want to actually uh, do the response so the, will it do the assignment that is going to be there from 3rd february onwards is to revise is is an extension of the pre workshop assignment so it will be based on the pre workshop assignment so if they have attempted but not been able to complete the pre workshop assignment and they come they'll just have to do the extension but my guess is it's going to be a little hard for them to do it because it's going to get the assignments are going to get much and more and more harder so if they're not having time now i don't see how they'll have time later so i think what you can do is just talk to them and see which ones are serious which ones really will be able to do the assignments and encourage them to come and if somebody says that they're not able to do the assignments you can tell them that perhaps they can wait or you know that it, the workshop won't make sense to them and they won't be benefited if they come simply and without doing the assignments okay thank you yeah thank you center 1094 over to you good evening yes my question is uh, understood that there is no spot registration but if some pg students are interested to attend the program i understand that based on certificate for them should we allow them to attend up to your discretion if you think that they will benefit and they'll be seriously able to participate you will be you you can allow them to do so up to your discretion and whether you have uh, whether if you have space and so on Center one one four seven, Congo Engineering College, E Road. Over to you. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Good evening, madam. Uh, madam, my question is: uh, uh, We have not yet received that schedule of this workshop. Uh, if you have sent it soon, now uh, we can we forward it to it all, it all the participants Moodle. because everyone is waiting for that. We will upload it on Moodle. So, but only it is on Moodle, not uh, not through that, uh, but like Excel sheet or uh, in a Word file. Because last workshop and all we we have received it, but for this workshop we didn't receive so far. It will be uploaded on Moodle. You can because download it. Because we have it. to forward yeah. it to all. Okay, so we'll put it up on a separate sheet and we'll upload it on Moodle. You can then forward it to all your participants. Yeah, because we have to forward it to all the participants. Okay. Thank you. Center triple one seven S V I T S Indore over to you. Hello. Yes. Good evening, madam. Uh, madam, my question is: uh, It is not a question; it is just a suggestion or question. Uh, if you can upload uh, two or three IEEE e-based papers on Moodle, these papers will be helpful to all all the centers, so that uh, we can uh, uh, conduct our activities easily. Okay. Thanks for your suggestion. Thanks. Thanks for your suggestion. We'll uh, consider the suggestion and. Uh, uh, Barring copyright reasons and all, if it works out, we'll consider the suggestion and do it after the workshop. Thanks for your suggestion. Center one one six three, over to you. Good evening. This is our third workshop with you. Uh, one suggestion is that uh, the speaker. if uh, he or she speaks in a slower pace our people could be able to understand but then when the pace at which they speak is much faster it's difficult to catch what they say especially because sometimes there is a break in the audio video etc okay so thanks for the comment okay thanks for the first comment let me just respond to that i will keep that in mind and i'll let my colleagues know too but if you are having any problem during the workshop it will be most useful if you let us know through the chat right at that moment that something is going on too fast or there's a break so it's much easier to fix this right on spot so if you find that let's say i'm speaking too fast right now just send us a quick message at that point but i will pass the message to my colleagues also yeah thank you the second is we would like to have more interaction because our participants are all very enthusiastic we have a small crowd less than 20 they are all women and uh, we would like to have more interaction uh, chances where uh, we would like to put in our uh, views opinions etc 
And then uh, another request is, can you tell all the remote centers to listen to the other speakers so that they don't repeat the same question over and over again? Okay, so thanks. Uh, I have two suggestions for you for the interaction part. One is that you can facilitate and you can lead a discussion within your own session, um, within your own center. Because if, especially if you have lively participants and people who are interested, so what I would request you and encourage you as the coordinator is to pick up some points and maybe even during the lunch hour, do a mini discussion and do your own discussion. Because the, uh, a lot of the interaction which is going to be useful is peer interaction. There is a lot of value in people interacting with their peers. So a large amount of the interaction they can get by interacting with each other in the center and with you. We do have some. Uh, venues for discussion from our end too, but you have to realize that there are about six and a half thousand participants on our end. And we will try to pay attention to everybody as much as possible, but there is really a physical limit here to the time and space. But uh, so in order to uh, overcome this issue, the first point of having discussions at your own center will work. Secondly, there is a lot of formal time during the activities where we are asking participants to interact with each other and with a coordinator. So that is another place where you can encourage these discussions and where you can facilitate these discussions. Okay. We are doing a lot of discussions among ourselves and we submit our assignments on time. Okay. Thank but then you very much. our group yeah. is already a group where we do a discussion where we would like to interact with you, especially in thermodynamics what happened was we, would, we wanted so much to talk to the speakers, but then uh, we never got an opportunity. So that was what we were uh, looking okay. for. I, I, I'll but anyhow, we wait for an opportunity. I'll take your comment, but yeah, as I said, we have about 200 plus centers now, and we'll do our best to get to all the centers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. Yeah. Thank okay, you. Okay, so let's take one more question, and after that, all questions we can uh, do on Moodle. Hello, ma'am. Hello, ma'am. Center one two three nine. Please go. I'm ahead. from Mondas College of Engineering. Yes. Hello, ma'am. We are became a remote center for the first time, so I had a question. Whether I had to send the apparent statement of all the participants after the workshop? Yes, please, you have to send it. I repeat the question. Whether I have to attend a statement for the participants during the two days? Yeah, please send it to us, sure. Okay, ma'am, thank you. Thank you. Uh, thanks for all your questions and uh, I hope the workshop schedule is clear. So we will see you all face to face again on Saturday. Thank you very much.